1992, I graduated from Bertner High School in Richardson, Texas. Today I'm going to share with you my senior scrapbook. Here is a bumper sticker, I Heart Dancing. I also had this bumper sticker on the back of my car, which was a red Chevy Beretta. This envelope is just full of goodies. So let's take a look and see what's inside. Underneath you can see a bumper sticker for my favorite radio station, 94.5 The Edge, which was like the first alternative station in Dallas. That's the station I listened to in high school. First off, we have a whole bunch of Movie ticket stubs. Well, I don't know what this one is from. House sitter? Hmm, this says world. I bet it's Wayne's World. Cutting Edge? Batman Returns? That's a good one. And ooh, Basic Instinct. Here are some of my friends from high school, and we used to exchange senior pictures. I don't know, do kids do that anymore? Y'all let me know if they do. I've, I've sort of lost touch with high schoolers since my kid just graduated from college. But anyway, here are some of my friends from high school that traded pictures and sometimes we would write little notes on the back. A Valentine, you're number one. Abby, as pen pals go, you're definitely number one. Thanks for sticking with me for so long. Love, Tracy. I'll show you guys a picture of her in a minute. She was my pen pal for many years. I think we started writing each other in like sixth grade. This was a play I went to, The Importance of Being Earnest. I love that play. And also, here's some other playbills. I used to love going to plays and musicals. It looks like I saw Cats and Starlight Express. That's a good one. I was a big fan of Andrew Lloyd Webber. Still am. This is actually a map of my high school, and I drew on there how to get to my different classes because my high school was really big. If you haven't watched it yet, I have a tour of my high school that I made um, a couple of years ago, but the original video was from 1990, so you'll want to check that out. You can tell how huge the school is. So I had marked my classes first period, second period, third period, fourth period. Those are all downstairs. And then upstairs, we had fifth period and sixth period was way over here. And then I wrote myself a note, don't forget, take a break between first and second. <laughs> Go to the office between second and third. Go to your locker between <laughs> fourth and fifth and fifth and sixth. Alrighty then. This is cool. They had a party for us when we turned 18 and we got to vote for the first time. I made it. I'm 18 now. I can make a difference. And y'all, this is so funny to me. They used to do this thing at our school called Data Match where they brought in, this company brought in a computer and you answered all these questions and then you could pay money to get your results. They would match you with another student at the school. So these are my matches and then the percent of compatibility. And it even had the person's phone number. I cannot believe they did that. That's so weird. I didn't know most of these boys. So I wasn't like gonna call them or anything, but I just wanted to see who I got matched with with the data match. So. <laughs> High school dating service right at your school. Imagine that. Excitement, intrigue, mystery, fascination. These are souvenirs from a senior ski trip that I took with Young Life. We went to Monarch Ski Resort. Here's my ski pass. And as we go through, you'll see some pictures from that trip here in just a little bit. Here is the senior class from my church. I went to a really big church, the First Baptist Church. So these were all the seniors from our church class. There's me right in the middle of the front row there. 
This was an article in the school newspaper where they interviewed me. The Rampage. There was an audition with Oliver Stone for that movie JFK. And this was in 1991. And I had gone to the audition. And so I got interviewed for this article. Students audition for motion pictures. Spoiler alert, I'm not in that movie. <laughs> I was supposed to be an extra and my day got rained out. So that sucked. Here's the football schedule for the year. Ooh, my report card. Got a couple B's in there, but all my final grades were A, straight A's. What is in this? Oh, this is prom, you guys. Invitation to prom. Here's my picture with me and my prom date, David. And here is the invitation. It's very fancy. The theme was unforgettable, Saturday, May 16th, 1992. And look at that, I'd forgotten. It was at the Doubletree Inn in Campbell Center. And that was also used a lot in the show Dallas. So we ended up going there for one of our filming locations videos, but totally forgot my prom was there too. Isn't that funny, the things we forget over time? Okay, let's get into this. Here we have the contents. And I love these pages where you write in things. And this one has like your hobbies. My hobbies were dancing, swimming, and crafts. Here's ninth grade, 10th grade, 11th grade, and my senior picture. This was my yearbook picture. They made us wear these sort of feathery boas. Do they still do that, guys? I don't even know. But that was how we did it back then. So our mascot was the Rams. These are my principals and our colors were green and white. And apparently our class theme was we came, we saw, we conquered. That's funny. Here's some of my friends. This was my pen pal, Tracy, the one that sent me the Valentine. This is my cousin, my best friend. And this boy I dated briefly, and we were supposed to go and see Sting. We had tickets to see Sting, and Sting canceled. He had a sore throat, and he canceled his performance, but instead, he took me to the symphony, and I enjoyed that. It was really fun. My jobs, I worked at Miller's Outpost at Prestonwood Mall, and I also volunteered at North Dallas Pediatrics. And it says our hangout was Hunan's Chinese restaurant. That's pretty funny. I don't remember going there all that much, but I must have gone there enough that I li listed it as my hangout. Out of school activities, dancing and church. And here's some pictures from dancing class. Here are a couple of pictures with, with some different boyfriends that I dated. And also this one is uh, Tracy again, my pen pal with her boyfriend. All right, now this cracks me up. Here's the things that I wrote. The hottest movie, Edward Scissorhands. Most popular expression, shwing, dude, whatever, oh my God, and party on. And of course, that reference to shwing was from Wayne's World from Saturday Night Live, which I listed as the most popular TV show. Best cafeteria food, I put chicken, and the worst cafeteria food, I said, was meatloaf. Trendiest game, Trivial Pursuit. Hottest car, Dodge Stealth. Most popular song, Brian Adams. Everything I do, I do for you. Record of the year was Garth Brooks, Rope in the Wind and best music group, in my opinion, and also best concert, I put Erasure. They were my favorite band. My personal top 10 were The Chili Peppers, Black Crows, Smithereens, Right Said Fred, that was a one hit wonder, Violet Femmes, Nirvana, Garth Brooks, They Might Be Giants, Morrissey, and Erasure. So as you can see, I had a very eclectic taste in music. Sports. I wasn't super into sports, but I did go to some sporting events. I went to a bunch of Ranger games. All of these are from Rangers games. 
And this one is from Lady Jack's Basketball at SFA, which ended up being where I was gonna go to college. Here is Homecoming 91. This is my friend Kara and I getting ready for homecoming at her house. And they used to give us these pins. See, it's just a pin and we would wear these to school. Homecoming, whoops, 1991. Here are our dates, and since I'm from Texas, of course we wore these huge mums, and the guys wore garters on their shoulders or on their arms. Okay, concerts. As I said, very eclectic. This is Billy Crockett, he's a Christian artist. I went to his concert, got my picture with him, and then I also that year went to the Lollapalooza at Starplex, and here's the program from that. Some of the bands that were featured, the Butthole Surfers, <laughs> Ice Tea, Fishbone, Violent Femme, Living Color, Susie and the Banshees, and the main event was Jane's Addiction. That was quite a show. TV shows that were popular back then, we had Designing Women. It was the last season of Cosby Show. I also wrote Home Improvement and Murphy Brown. <laughs> this is funny. My music taste. Country Western, Cutting Edge, and Thrash. <laughs> A little bit of everything. Favorite Munchies, Chili's Buffalo Wings, Popcorn, and Cookies. And then here are some more pictures from Homecoming, from the dance. The other one was from the game. These are from the dance. And I went with Will. This, this is the guy that took me to the symphony that I told you about. And then here are my friends. Uh, we went to the Arboretum. This is my friend Gretchen. Sadly, she passed away last year. And she's really my first friend who's died, so it was super sad. And this is our friend, Colleen. All right, here are some of the prices that I wrote in the book for things like a hamburger. I said it was $1.50, jeans about $30, concert tickets $25. Wow, wouldn't that be nice? Slice of pizza for a dollar? And candy bars, about 60 cents. Hot styles in fashion were mini skirts, short shorts, denim, sandals, heads, leggings, boots, blazers, and of course, shoulder pads. So here is information about our homecoming, which I've already shown you pictures from that. And then this is our prom. Graduation. Our senior class was huge. So they held the graduation at Moody Coliseum at SMU. Here's some pictures with my school counselor and some of my friends, people that came. And my gift, my parents gave me a trip to France. We went on a trip to France for my graduation. And then here are pictures from that trip. I got to take my cousin, this is my cousin and I, at the Louvre. And here we are, I think this is at Versailles. And then my friends signed autographs in here. Abby, I enjoyed getting to know you this year in French. You are a very sweet and kind person and I'm glad I got to share that, glad you got to share that with me. I wish you the best of luck at Stephen F. Austin and hope you become a successful person. I love this. I know you will do so well in college because you're such a hard worker. If you ever come back to Bergner, you best come and visit me. So don't party too hard in college and stay out of trouble, your friend, your French pal, Terry. He was class of 93, so he was saying if I came back to school to visit him. And all these sweet friends wrote notes. I love it. These are fun. This one was really touching. This girl, Linda, she and I went to school together since kindergarten. She said, Abby, I've known you since kindergarten. That's a long time. 
You've always been a sweet person with a warm personality. I'm glad we're in government together. You have great potential. So do your best in college and achieve all your goals. Good luck in the future, and I hope you find happiness. Love always, Linda. That's very sweet. This is my acceptance letter for Stephen F. Austin, where we went to college, and that's where I ended up meeting Keith. Oh, this is the ski trip. It was also New Year's Eve, so we had celebrated New Year's Eve. Here's my friend Audra and I on the ski lift, and here we are, we've made a snowman. We weren't much into the skiing. Audra and I had more fun playing in the snow. This was a Young Life trip, so there's a whole bunch of kids. There I am in my snow gear, and here's me and my friends, and somebody accidentally put their finger over the lens in that picture. Oh, graduation. Here is our graduation invitation. Still have it. Class of 1992. And there's my little name card. It was on Sunday evening, May 31st, 1992 at SMU. It's pretty cool. And here is the program for graduation. And I even kept my little parking pass. I saved everything. Here's some more graduation pictures with my mom and my friends. My family, my grandparents all came. This was our all night party after graduation that was put on by the PTA, it was called Ram Jam, and it was kind of like a casino night. It was super fun. This is hilarious. This coupon entitles you to one free palm reading session. Not sure what's up with that, but apparently I didn't take them up on it. And here's some of my friends and I partying at Ram Jam. And that is the end of the book. I hope you guys enjoyed looking at my senior scrapbook from 1992. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more retro fun. And watch this video where I'll take you on a tour of my high school. See you next time!